Nothing. Oh, that's not the. Oh! Nice. You got her. Got her. Oh, big one. Big one. Welcome back, folks, to hopefully a more exciting episode of today's <laughs> angler. Hopefully, we get one in the boat for uh, day two. But we're bringing in some reinforcements. <laughs> yes. We'll see, if we, we'll see if we can help you out. Yeah. <laughs> we got a special guest today. Uh, Earl, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm uh, Earl Park from H3O Polarized. Uh, Robbie and Lee have been, <laughs> yep. been wearing them this year, uh, hopefully liking them. Yes. And uh, Absolutely. we're going to come out here and see if we can get a couple fish in the boat. Or one. Or one. Or one. Would be good. <laughs> one, one, is, one. One is one is what is the the first goal. Right, right. And, uh, we'll build on that. Yeah. See if we can build on that. But uh, we got beautiful weather, northwest winds, Cold clouds, front. rain maybe. Should be a good day. We need to get casting and uh, hopefully pop a giant. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, to start out, I'll be rolling the Water Chopper XL on the nine foot Chaos Assault stick. And that is in the Surgical Strike, which is the nice top water, small bucktail, little twitch bait rod. Earl, he's got the uh, double number eight boiler maker. Has had some action as of late. Let's see, I'm gonna guess what Robbie's throwing. <laughs> the Medusa, yeah, that seems to work good up here and everywhere. So that's a program. We have a picture perfect musky weather day. All we have to do is insert musky into the net and we'll be set. Come on, big fish. See one? I think it was a northern. It was a nice northern. Oh, no, big fish, big fish, Robbie. Giant, it's, giant. He's still there. Giant. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Giant Robbie, really? like upper 40. Really? Yeah, that was your fish. I thought it looked greener. Though. It's so dark water. Yeah. Go a little uh, outside, a little farther on your outside turn. Yep, yep, there you go. Holy he, cow. He took a nip at it. It's right here. See her? Robbie sees her. Stop. Um, go a couple more just in case. Really? Wow, that was... That thing was wide, dude. Wow. Yes, you man. almost broke your uh, PB it came up real quick. Kind of took a nip at it. Yeah, yep. And then it rolled up onto it on, on the Again, next turn. Yes, yeah. yep. It, it looked hot. It I mean, was, that was a sizable animal. <laughs> yeah, definitely 45 to 48, somewhere in there. He already sees one. Open the water. Yeah. They like that. I'm just gonna. That way. Do you have it honed into the point that you have a pretty good idea of the distance and stuff? <laughs> of course, they, yeah, they don't I always know. they don't always cooperate to, to verify anything. Right. Probably, right? He could. Ju he just said he could tell which way. Got her. He's got her. Good job, Robbie. Good job, Robbie. You called it, man. I'm here. I'm ready. All right, we got her. <gasps> Woo! Robbie, that was awesome, dude. Dude, he looks at the side image. He says, there's a muskie right over here. He casts behind the boat. Oh, and nice, it eats. Nice fish. Nice work, dude. Oh. All right. Did that job? I just wanted to drag her in. I knew she was like good. <laughs> All right. No, I look good. <laughs> nice thick back. Oh, nice. Nice fish. Whew, we got a good luck charm in the boat. He did bring yeah. a muskie. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I don't need to catch one as long as I can get you yeah. to catch one. Well, right? it's <laughs> early. This is our um, second, one. second spot of the day. You had a, had a good, one had a nice one up earlier. Gosh. 
This, this one, is this is a nice one. But, looks uh, like this one sounded like this one nailed it. Right. So what you, you said yeah. when you set the hook. Yeah. It was uh, behind the boat, sitting probably 11 feet of water. Uh, husky Medusa hit the bottom. I kind of gave it a couple of shakes. I don't know. We were just talking about that before. Before four, you ripped it? Yeah, yeah. four or five uh, rips, and she was on the bait. Get her out. Alrighty, we got a nice green summertime musky oh, there. Beautiful, awesome, sweet fish. Nice, oh, fish. nice, nice little bars on it too. Yeah. All righty, let's get her back oh. before she shakes. That's awesome. Yeah, you're green. You're ready to roll. Perfect, perfect fish. Day. Perfect animal. Yeah, you want to go, don't you? Perfect. Sweet. It's always nice to get one in the morning than the rest of the day. It just gets, it's a lot easier to keep fishing. So that's awesome. Let's get, no, let's get another one now. Quality fish so far. Dude, if that was not an example of the side image technology, that, I mean, that was ridiculous. I actually purposely did not cast. I turned my whole body so my chest cam would be facing that. I hope I stopped it. I don't yeah, even you did. know yeah. if I did. I'm, I'm musky blackout. But <laughs> He threw back out to that thing and got her to bite on the opposite, the Canadian side yep. of the boat. That was awesome. So cool. Let's, uh, they're biting, let's go. Nice. Oh, something slurped right when I wasn't looking. Not sure, pike or musky. It's a musky, it's small, but it is a musky. No way, no, it might be, it might have spots. It has spots. And it's too big. It's too big for bait. It, yeah. Dang it. Of course, every flipping hook, this will be fun. Here's the excitement of my day right there on the end of my line. Have a nice swim. Oh, that was wet. <laughs> it's always wet with the pike. Wet, slimy. All right, the Chopper XL comes in hard with the Mr. Pike. Yeehaw. Oh, weed. Yep. <laughs> weed, nothing. Oh, that's not the. Oh, nice. you got her. Oh, oh my gosh, that just happened. I think that's the same one or smaller? <laughs> no, we're further west yeah, or south. Wow. I got the net. I thought you had a weed on it. I did. He did. I know. I thought I, I saw weed, that. And I turned and gave it a little jerk and all of a sudden. Did the weed come off or she just had to eat it? I think she just Don't know? It. I don't know. <laughs> Can I hold the net out a little bit or? Dude, out of the bag. that was sick. What a sick bite a, out of nowhere. It had a five foot weed on the, <laughs> on the, the bucktail. She didn't mind, huh? She didn't seem to mind unless she was waiting under the boat for me. That could be. We were kind of pushed up tight to those weeds. That's a heavy one. Oh, she is heavy. Oh. Get her in, dude. Oh, Look at that. Wow. Holy cow. Hold that tail out for me, Lee. That is a nice looking animal wow. right there. That's a stud. That was... On the figure eight, oh, it doesn't she came get up much sicker it. than that. Ooh, that's awesome. All right, behave, girl, behave. What are we she at? is 40, right there. just about 43. Uh, almost. 43, good. That's, Look how fat she is. She's oh, a holy thick one. cow. All right. All righty, let's get her back. Let me grab that tail so we can get some underwater over. Wow, just a stud musky. Perfect. Nice, healthy fish. That is what we're after. That's a nice little specimen right there. 
I'll take her. <laughs> well, I thought I heard, felt your tail moving a little bit. You can probably let her go. She's up right. Twist her sideways to like roll it. Yep, and yeah. then she'll go. There you go. Look, look, at, that. look at that. <laughs> It's beautiful when you see them come in like that, but it's even better when they're in the net. Yep. <laughs> there she hey, goes. congrats, All man. Right. That was worth the almost five hour drive. <laughs> nice work, brother. Oh, On the eight. Perfect. I'm telling you, there, I'll tell you the whole sequence here. I look down at his bait. There's a four to five foot weed hanging on his bait. And I'm like, oh, never mind, never mind. It's a weed. And then it, the Just... fish eats it with the weed on the bait. <laughs> As soon so, as I said, I said uh, to Lee, I said, well, no, that's just a weed. And, and then, not. bam, and I said, that's not. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> that's crazy. That's awesome. You know, if your bait's in the water, it can get eaten, even if there's a weed. Forgot to show you guys, we were too excited catching a muskie. That was on the double number eight Boilermaker on the dirty perch color. And look at this beautiful chunk of wood out of the bait body already. It's kind of got some black and gold and silver in the skirt. I don't know if it matters, but it's so far it's working today. It worked. Next spot. Got her big one. Nice. Getting early. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Stop. Stop, girl. Oh my gosh. She's wrapped. She's wrapped. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yep. Yes, Lee. Right when yes. I saw that one forfeit, where I thought. Yes. Yes! Nice. Yes! Yes! I think we got a side of the shirt jump on the camera. Holy <laughs> crap! Oh my god. Keep that tight. That was crazy. That was pretty cool. Well, I think they're getting bigger. This head's a lot bigger than the one that Earl got about an hour and a half ago, two hours. Another bite on the Husky Medusa. Gosh, are these fish fat and angry. All righty, let's get her out of the net here. I'll try to. <laughs> she is angry. Gosh. Oh, what a cool fish. Gosh, look how big her tail is. Yeah. That is insane. She's got a clip, clipped fin. She is a stocked fish. That's cool. I want to grab that tail from him so she doesn't flop. That's good. What do we got? Oh, what we got. It isn't bigger. 42. <laughs> Just shy of 42. Gosh, nice fish. Let's get her back. Hop over here, Lee. Alrighty. Yeah, look at that. That is a stocked fish right there. Weird markings on the back, though. Wonder what that's for. Any idea, Lee? Uh, who knows? Alright, there you go. I was seeing if it was a big male or not. What is it, hourglass? Hourglass is a female. Female? Hard to say. She wants, she wants to go, to go away. Go. <laughs> she looks good. Look at her. Look at her go, dude. <laughs> That's insane. Wow, what a beefy fish. These are definitely healthy fish in this lake. Yeah. What do you think so far, Earl? Well, that's, that's three. <laughs> three. <laughs> what can we do four? We're, we're not done yet. <laughs> not done yet. Let's get over by. Nice one. Make sure jet ski doesn't smoke it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I've been fishing the twilight yellow lens all day today. It's been pretty heavy cloudy. We've been bringing some mist. A little bit that turned kind of into rain a little bit, but now it's starting to bright up, brighten up a little bit. So I'm going to switch, put the copper lens on. This is from the master, by the way. <laughs> yes, for those of you that, that, that missed it earlier in the video, Earl here is the owner of H3O Polarized Sunglasses. And why is it three? Well, it, it started out, first of all, the way we started the company, the reason we started the company is because we couldn't find anything that was wraparound and polarized. And I couldn't find anything that I could fish really low light conditions that was polarized. So we couldn't just sell a lens that was almost clear. No one because, would buy it. Because you want <laughs> lenses for during the day too. So uh, we decided, okay, we're gonna develop a frame with interchangeable lenses. We're gonna put three of them in there. They're for water. So we just kind of came up with a little twist on the water, made, made it H3O instead of H2O. And uh, every system that we sell comes with three different lens colors to accommodate different lighting conditions, different water conditions. And uh, that's where the that's kind of where the three H three O comes in. You're you're getting pretty good at this. That was league. pretty you're quick. Pretty, that, was, that was quick. I always tell everybody if you if you practice a little bit, it's about a two a two cast change. If you do talking in between like this, it becomes a little bit more more cast that you miss. Sure. But uh, if you're in a hurry, um, but we are going to I'm going to switch the to the copper from the twilight yellow. So I'll get those out of there, and I'm going to actually use the lens pouch to try to avoid fingerprints so I don't have to waste more time not fishing. Ooh, that's a pro tip there. Wow. So um, if you use your pouch, uh, this is the Rage frame, the full, the one so far, the only full frame design we have. We have two more coming shortly. But uh, you just hold it, uh, and I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm just gonna roll that bottom edge forward to release that lens, kind of hanging on over the edge there a little bit. Here, I'll do it without the, the pouch first, and I'll keep those it. lenses clean. And just roll that forward. Enough to release outward. the lens. When it goes back in, make sure you get the right one. You're going to go from the front side instead of the back, so just think of the opposite. Oop. There goes my other lenses, that's all right. And so it lay it in there so it's in the top part of the frame first. Hold one side or the other just to get it started in the corners, and then a couple of pops across the bottom. And they're real solid. You really don't have to touch a lot of the lens, but you do have to touch the lens a little bit. Um, where with the ice, you can do pretty much everything sure. from the edge of the lens. So, now, now, if, if you were Robbie, you would do this. You would fish both colored <laughs> lenses in did, one day. Actually, at a, <laughs> at a Packer game, I will sometimes actually do that and put a green lens in one and a, and a yellow lens just in the other, or gold in the other, just for fun. But it, it does mess with your eyes a little bit. But uh, <laughs> as far as uh, quickness, it's just a matter of, oh, we got to take this one out. Release the lens. Where'd my other lens go? <clears throat> I always recommend doing this over the boat, not over the water. Good so idea. That's a good way to. That's all that's to it. Boom. And if you're doing it without the without the cloth, then just take your your lens cloth, which is a microfiber cleaning material, in addition to the drawstring pouch that comes in there. Give it a little buff, and voila, all ready to roll. <laughs> so all the the lenses you have available, let you know just uh, so. In the, in the polyamide, um, we have the the dark gray, Four blue, different. blue mirror dark gray. Uh, green mirrored copper, gold mirrored, twilight yellow, and then the special lens that you probably have heard Lee mention before, and I certainly have mentioned it several times, is our uh, our polar clear. I don't know if you want to hold that up like against the the sky, but that that's a lens that it's musky fishing. It's so critical to see active fish, and let's face it, In if you light. take any given day, what's the best <clears throat> bite of the day? It's usually that last hour of daylight. And uh, here we have a lens that is so close to clear, with still with the same polarization efficiency as all the other lenses, over 99%, which is unheard of in low light polarized lenses. And uh, you can fish that down to total darkness. So yeah, the polar clear lens, that's a propri proprietary lens of H3O. That is, it is truly a game changer, not to just, you know, cause we've got you in the boat today, mm -hmm. but uh, it is ridiculous how easy you can see. You can. Technically, you can wear it on your boat ride back to the dock to keep the bugs off your eyes. You know, if something happened, you know, you're not going to blame any of us for saying that. But, uh, <laughs> but it's definitely quite clear. So. Yeah, and uh, we don't recommend it 
right kind of you know Officially. like you're kind of going to like not a night driving lens yes you got to understand that a, that a high efficiency polarized lens is knocking out basically 50 percent of the light just with the polarization that little bit of a grayish tint in there blocks a little more so we're still only having about 40 percent light transmission not something i recommend you wear driving on the road at night um, but it does work great on the water down to that down to that almost dark Situation. So one other thing too, they uh, are available in prescription lenses. You can get prescription, or not yeah. prescription lenses technically. It, yeah, it's a prescription it insert. In. Yes. Uh, I wish I would have brought one with me out in the boat here so I could show you that. But if you look on our on our Instagram, you'll see a couple instances of me changing them with the insert in it. But it uh, because it's a, a three lens system, if we did a direct prescription in that polarized lens and gave you three colors, you'd be, probably be looking at Fifteen to two thousand dollars, fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for that for that set of glasses. Sure. And the other problem when you're looking at a lens that that gives you that coverage, that wrap coverage, is some eight base lens, uh, which means the base curve. It's eight eight base. You have you're really limited to the type of prescriptions that you can put in that type of a lens. Uh, most companies won't even do a progressive lens in a direct prescription. Um, with the insert, the insert has doesn't have nearly the curvature that the outer lens has. So we can do, we, in fact, we just did uh, a prescription for a gentleman who had a minus 7.25 and a progressive bifocal. And that is unheard of in direct prescription polarized lenses. And so on top of that, you've got the versatility of the interchangeable lenses. You're not stuck with one lens color unless you want to pay a lot of money for sure. three. And uh, the other thing <clears throat> is if your prescription changes, you're just changing the prescription in that clear, non-polarized, non-tinted lens. So you're, the rest of your system stays intact. It's all the same. So you're saving a lot of money if your prescription changes. And we can usually do that whole Elite Series with a prescription for less than a single pair of polarized prescription glasses with a direct prescription. So it's kind of a, kind of a handy thing for the prescription wearer. So if you'd like to check these out, that's H3O Polarized. Um, obviously we'll leave a link down in the description and if you pick up one of the Elite Series you will get a free included pair or, or included um, is the help me the polar clear the, lens yep a so you fourth, get four sets yep, of lenses yep just put in the comments there's been a little confusion on some orders it's not a coupon code it's just in the comments we don't have any way on the website for it to add a free item with a coupon code. So just put in the comments when you fill out your online order form, put it today's angler, and with that in the comments, you'll get that free fourth pair of lenses, that Polar Clear that I know Lee loves so much, as does just about anybody else that uses it. So we will leave a link in the description for that, and you can check out the H3O Polarize and get that scoop up, that free pair of uh, lenses in the Polar Clear. Let's go catch a, another okay. musk. I need another. to catch a musky, yeah. people. <laughs> Big one, big one. It's a giant. Sorry, bud. You're good. You're good. Gosh, some baits moving. Yes. Yes. Oh my. Yes. Wow, what a day, dude. I thought she was bigger. <laughs> she was fighting like a giant. <laughs> I think it's the biggest of the day. I would say so. Oh, Holy nice. crap. Just would not let up. Just what a freak. You really did bring the good luck there, sir. <laughs> Four fish I'd day. Be to, I'd happy, be happy to help you out anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Wow. Oh, what yeah. a beautiful animal. Gosh, really beautiful. Holy cow. That is amazing. Let's get her on the bump right here. Grab that tail for me. Gosh, what? Didn't have it good enough. Yep. There we go. Ah, three and three a quarter. Gosh, I thought she wow. was going to be 44, four, maybe 44 and a half, but 
Beautiful animal, perfect, perfect. Let's get her back in the water here. Another beast in the boat. Just putting her head right in the water, in the, in the wind there. What do you think about that? It's like bookend fish, like cookie cutter, beautiful, perfect wow. animals. The guys, do they look? Healthy. Healthy. Extremely <laughs> healthy. And they fight like it too. Hi, yeah. girl. Woo. Boom. Son, what the hell are you doing? I got That's poop so on my lures, <laughs> man. Oh, so. gosh. What a crazy day, folks. And we've had this bite all day all long. All day long. <laughs> yep. You had said on the last spot, well, we're about to, the way they've been spread out throughout the day, and sure enough, Robbie slams another Deuce. on the Husky Deuce. A lot of pounds of muskies today. I like it. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, just want to show you something new for this year from Chaos Tackle. It's a new Chaos Tackle Salt 6 2020. This is what it's meant for. Big rubber, got the 500 tranks high gear. It is called the Moab. Um, yeah. It's, What's the lure rate? It's weight a, rating. It is five to thirty ounces, which uh, the shock and all that we used originally was four to twenty-four. And uh, Lee just tossed this two casts or whatever, and he could feel the difference. You can just manipulate that that uh, bait so much easier. And uh, you know, typical uh, today's angler video when we're catching fish on husky medusas, we're just snapping it. But uh, it is amazing though how a little bit less wear and tear on the body with these uh, Moab rods. There's just less flex into it on that tip, so it's just, I don't know why it's, why it's easier, but it's just, even in the figure eight, it's not bending over when you're going into your turns. It's nice and easy. Um, I guess we're gonna get casting, the sun's caught popping up. Who knows what that'll mean? Yeah. Blood has been shed, Blood folks. Been shed. It's a beautiful day <laughs> in the boat. All right, the boss man says it's time to change the lenses, and he's right. I was gonna get a snack, cause- the, No, no, no snack right now. No, this gotta is, change the lens lenses change. first. <laughs> okay. We don't wanna do this too late. I always tell everybody, don't wait till you can't see anymore with a darker lens. Cause now you're already in that that evening bite, that power hour, is that the term you use? The power for? hour, power yep. Hour. I'm not as good on this side, there we go. So we're taking out, I'm taking out the uh, hot copper green mirror lens. Which I think is what we all had in at this point. Yep. So looking for the polar clears. Actually, so I think I might have had it. problem with these cases. microfiber fiber pouches is that you can't see what color lens you're grabbing until you open it up. And crazy fun fact here, Earl actually makes the pouches for these lenses, that's correct, isn't it? I only did that for a short time. Oh, it happened though. And it's... I'm glad that I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> wow, that now that's dedication, we folks. We lost a supplier and we had to find another one and in the, and through right in the middle of show season is when I was sewing these pouches. <laughs> so there you go, there's your fun uh, fact. Yeah, oh, I loved it. I bet. Really an, I didn't take really you for brilliant. much of a, a seamstress there, well, <laughs> Earl. <laughs> I am not, and I don't I don't aspire to be one. <laughs> Look at that. I'm done. There we go, folks. Now it looks like see how, see how this. See how easy that was? If I get that close enough. Look at that. So we got that, and then this is the lens I had on before. We'll see what that looks like when we look at the video. And now we don't have to worry about our glasses for the rest of the evening. Put them away, nice in the pouch. Okay, how's that for the useless minute of YouTube television here? <laughs> Not useless, no, this is this is important. Some, we can some, see better. Somewhat boring maybe, but uh, here we go. Important nonetheless. Robbie, next spot. Next spot. Look, I can see your eyes, Robbie. <laughs>
Well, that's uh, musky fishing. The feeding window is over and what a feeding window we had. Uh, that was absolutely amazing. Glad you got to join us for yeah, that. Yeah, it was a great day. It started out a nasty day for some people. Yep. But for us on the water chasing muskies, it was awesome. It Perfect was a great day. clouds. Yeah, that, that system moved through. We got one bite right when it ended, and uh, that Shut was down. all she wrote. But uh, that's how it goes. Uh, we thought maybe it would keep going, just how crazy that was. Yeah. Um, to go four for four for muskies is unheard of, especially on rubber. Or th yeah. three for three on rubber. I mean, that's uh, you lose a lot of them generally. <laughs> but, they're all uh, healthy fish. Yep, absolutely. Heavy. That was a blast. Um, yeah, you got to ride home. We should probably get you to the launch. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it one way or the other, whether we get there now right. or, or or later. <laughs> a little bit later, but um, yeah, I think that's it. I got anything else, Lee? Yeah, I need I need to catch a musky. Yep, uh, it's the struggle bus is real, but hey, it's all about. Uh, the boat, how the boat does, yep. and definitely uh, that side imaging deal, it's lights out. Yeah. I mean, that was that was Textbook. one fish for sure. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Directly on that. Yep. And that kind of started our day with confidence and mm -hmm. um, kept going. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, actually, first off, please check out uh, H3O uh, Polarized Sunglasses. Um, don't be yeah. afraid to send an email if you've got yeah. questions or whatever. Like uh, the prescription stuff. Get yeah, the prescription right to stuff. You. It's a little more detailed. There's some some stuff on the website, but uh, please, if there's any questions, send an email. The yeah. email that's on the bottom of each page actually goes directly to me. Yep. So you know who you're talking to. Absolutely. So uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's nice to uh, catch some muskies, and I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button, subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video.